Okay, <clears throat> there's the project five again. It's a bit dusty, but uh, you can see the attack control, the volume control, the drive, and the edge control, and the slightly misbehaving foot switch. That's one of my little AC4s. Um, this time round, you've already had it with me playing through the 59 GB special. Okay, um, now we're going to run it through this guy here. This is one of my pride and joys. This is a fully original 57 strap with a lovely V neck. Okay, but like with all strats, it's got quite weaker pickup. You don't want to see my hand playing, so let's try and show the pedal. Right. <coughs> okay, this is the second in a series of little clips I'm doing to try and compare the Project 5 pedal with differing guitars. So we've already done a double P90 equipped 1959 Les Paul TV special. This time we're on a bona fide 1957 Strat, which has got a particularly nice hot bridge pickup. So I'm going to give you my clean signal. The amplifier is. I don't want it to feed back, and I don't want to. I don't want to hurt the speaker, so it's about 75, 80 percent of the way up. And this is everything's open on the guitar. This is my bridge sound clean. <laughs> This is the freeway selector, don't forget. This is the middle position. And this is the next position. And if you're interested in hearing a 57 strat in between, this is bridge and middle. So we're back to clean. Open E. Hopefully I'm in tune. Okay, hopefully the camera's running properly. I'll just check. Yep, yeah, okay. <coughs> right, so we'll try and do the same thing again. Neither of the sliders are engaged. So let's stick in the open. Attack is around three quarters of the way up. Volume is cranked all the way up. That's clean. I'm looking for parity. Maybe I should knock the volume back a bit. Anyway, let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so I've got attack three quarters of the way up. Okay, still pretty gaty. That's the bridge pickup, which is quite powerful. Then the middle, which is nice and mellow. Gaty, okay, and on the next pickup. Still gating like a bitch. Okay, let's just play with the attack a bit. That's the attack at halfway. Hardly pass the signal. Got the attack all the way up. And on the treble. 
and picked up. <laughs> It's not really the kind of pedal that you'd want to leave with long quiet pauses in between because it's a bit noisy, it's a bit gapy, so it's the kind of thing that you want to keep driving with the guitar. Let's fiddle around with the slide detector then. Okay, so we're on the treble pickup on the track. Clean again. Turn the attack back a tiny bit. And we'll try the drive. First of all, the drive slider, which if you remember, it acts more like uh, a bass boost or a treble roller. So we'll slide that in. to anyone you've got the same volume drop okay and you've got I suppose probably something like a Fender Jaguar uh, on the rhythm section engaged so you can set it to just a little chunky rhythm back in if you wanted but it's not really to my taste so here we are just the same pedal again <laughs> treble boost. <laughs> treble pick up on the guitar. on the sliders, volume up, all the way, attack all the way, so let's hope I don't hurt my speaker. <laughs> Middle pick up on the guitar. And the edge control, that's the treble boost control, or the bass roll off control. <laughs> Control on. And off. Notice that the volume goes up a little bit and uh, yeah, everything else changes. Anyway, that ought to be enough for the Stratocaster. It's not really, to my way of thinking, a Stratocaster. 